Hello, this is Dee Dee Mitten and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make the basking area for Mr Turtle. I was searching on YouTube for some ideas on how to make an adequate basking area for my turtle and I come across this video by Borry Bob. He had a, um, a tank set up video and his tank is amazing. I will link that video and any turtle lovers out there or anyone that wants to get some ideas for their tank, I really do advise that you check that out because it is so, so good. Um, anyway, he uh, made some things for his tank that I thought I could incorporate into making a basking area for my turtle because what I bought is um, the Turtle Dock by Zoomeds and it's really not good enough for the size of Mr. Turtle because he is about six inches long, his shell, and he weighs, he's quite a heavy turtle and if he climbs up on this turtle dock I know that it's going to sink slightly and it's not going to be completely dry and this is the large now what this comes with, this turtle dock, is it comes with this plastic frame that you, let me show you, hold on that you feed through, it secures to the side of the tank with the suction cups and it floats up and down with a water level. But the thing is with that, it's because it's only being held from that back corner. When he goes to climb up on here, it's gonna sink into the water and he's gonna be all lopsided and it's just not gonna work out good for him. So what I thought I would do is, thanks to that YouTube video that I saw, is make a frame out of PVC pipe, which I bought from Home Depot. I bought the half inch and it was incredibly cheap. Um, each piece of pipe was like $1.90. And it's about, I don't know, maybe eight feet long. And again, I bought the half inch and I bought these little um, bracketed elbows to make the top part of the frame for the platform to balance on top. These were actually quite hard to find. I couldn't find them at Home Depot. I don't know if they were sold out. They had a lot that had the, um, the threads inside, which weren't practical. So I had to go to Lowe's and they had them there. So yeah, I finally found some. And to cut the PVC pipe, I went ahead and bought this cobalt one and a half inch PVC pipe cutter. Hopefully it's going to cut half inch. Maybe that's the biggest it cuts is one and a half, one and a quarter inch. So uh, yeah, I went ahead and bought that. And in the YouTube video that Bory Bob made, he had a knack for cutting this egg crate, which I'm going to use to secure this on top of and also surround it with some foliage so he has some privacy in basking. He used a heavy file to cut the the egg crate so I'm gonna try that and see I don't know he, he had a knack for it he made it look incredibly easy but I think it's gonna be one of them things that's gonna take a few tries so yeah and I also bought a pack of wire ties because obviously I don't want it going anywhere once it's set up I'm gonna want to wire tie this to the egg crate and the egg crate to the PVC pipe this is actually called egg crate uh, me, it was funny because um, my husband and I were kind of bickering. I was at do the PVC pipe. Um, without further ado, I shall attempt to um, size and cut some of this egg crate and uh, try and make a start on making this turtle dock. Fingers crossed it comes out decent. Okay, let's see how this works out. Okay, so I'm going to start trying to cut this uh, egg crate. I've marked the uh, area that I want to cut from to rest the, the dock. So here goes. Oh, I had a little go. So, okay, here goes. Just get a heavy file and uh, go straight down. Lots of mess. Woo! Okay. And from here, I think I'm going to do it from here actually. So. If you can see that. Okay, let me move the camera down slightly. Okay. And yeah, cut away. Oh. Oh, okay. Right, there we 
go. A piece of uh, egg crate to size and a lot of mess. That's going to be fun to clean up later. And the good thing about using the file is uh, you can use the, the edges of the file to smooth down the sharp edges. You don't want any of these sharp edges hurting your turtle. So, yeah, that's Okay, now I'm going to work on the frame so this can stand at the water level. That way he can get out of the water to bask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down some of this pipe to size. And I'm going to use these little um, brackets to make a frame. So I'm going to measure these up, cut them and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to try and cut this pipe. So I'm going to grip it. I'm going to score it as I go around. Oh, there we go. Ah, good. Well, I guess once you get the hang of them, they work pretty good. Because that is a really smooth, even cut. It's actually incredibly smooth. So, yes, I will cut three more of these and uh, cut them to size and uh, show you the start of the frame. Okay, I have the four pieces to uh, size. I got them as equal as I could. Um, how I'm going to put these together is I'm going to get the little thingies. I had actually had a uh, bit of a dirt moment. One of the elbows that I did buy had the threading inside so I'm gonna have to take this one back and get one that doesn't so make sure when you do go and buy these um, check that I don't have the threading so I didn't check all of them I just checked one to see if it was the right one and I took four out of the box so yeah this is the wrong one but I should still be able to use it for the frame and balance it but I don't think I'm really gonna be able to use this too well so yes um, you get the pieces and you just fix them together like so. That piece goes there. Piece ah, goes there. And then the longer pieces. And then, oh, one piece. And then, that should secure quite nicely, like that. And then, so the uh, egg crate that's going to have our turtle dock is going to sit on top, like so. And then, obviously, the bottom pieces are going to be where more of the PVC piping goes to make some legs. So it's going to be at water level and you can adjust. So yeah, I'm going to cut some more pipe and uh, finish the frame. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the finished product. Um, I had to put a little bit of tape around this section because this is the part that had the uh, thread. I need to replace this and I'm not going to put it in the tank because of the tape. I just did this for uh, demonstration purposes. So yeah, this is how it should look when it is done pretty sturdy and how I'm going to set this up now I have the frame in place is I'm going to get the egg crate I'm going to wire tie it to the top like so and put the wire ties around the edge to secure that and then the turtle dock is going to go on like so oh, hold on. and once that's all secure and wire tied down I'm going to add the foliage, some to the back of it for some privacy for Mr. Turtle and some to the front. Oh, uh oh, they're falling off. So yes, that is how it's going to look. So I'm going to wire tie that and secure it. And uh, actually, I'm probably not 
gonna wire tie this right now because I need to replace that piece. But this is how it's gonna look right when finished. I'll come around here so you can see the other side of it. Like that. And obviously the water level is gonna be up to, probably up to here. So when it climbs up this little bit, it's gonna be in the dry. Okay, just to quickly show you how it's gonna look inside the tank. Um, this is a 40 gallon, I think they call them breeders. It's the 18 inch wide tank. It's probably, it's not as big as I want. I do want to get a bigger tank eventually, but right now with the whole setup, it's gotten kind of expensive. So at least for the first six months to the year, we're going to have this tank. And then after that, hopefully I can get a 75 gallon. That's the goal. So at the moment, uh, this is it sitting in the uh, tank. I'm going to have the water level filled up to, I guess until that it hits as high as it can on the turtle dock. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think it gives him plenty of room to swim around underneath. Um, yeah, I think it's good. Like I said, I'm going to cut the leaves down and uh, add the ones I cut around the edge to hide some of this white and to um, add some privacy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some vines and wrap them around the legs so it looks all green and nice. So yeah, that is the nice little secure turtle basking area that I've made and uh, if you have any questions on how I made it maybe I missed something in the construction that you might want me to uh, to go into more detail about please leave me a comment and I'll definitely get back to you and read the description and I will list where I bought everything and how much it cost okay thanks for watching and uh, tanks set up is coming soon bye bye